Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to find the factor of this quadratic expression by using no fuss factoring method. So one thing, let me remind you that this method is going to work only if the leading coefficient is other than one. So here's the very first step you should do right now. I want you to look at these end numbers over here. You see this one, three and 10, create a rainbow between these ending numbers. I want you to multiply them. And at the same time, I want you to put down this X factor. This looks like an X. I want you to put down these three times 10 is 30 on the top. You can see that one when you multiply and your middle number positive 11 goes at the bottom over here. You can see that one. Now, the next step, I want you to just focus on this 30. What are the possible factors of 30? And here I have listed all the possible factors of 30 right up here. So look for the feasible one that is going to work for us. As you can see that 5 and 6 is going to work for us because 5 and 6 is going to give us 11. So I want you to just write down 5 right up here and 6 right up here. Now we need to fix the sign. Since this is a positive 11, that means it's going to become positive 5 and positive 6. Once again, now positive 5 and positive 6, these two factors, if you multiply them, that's going to give you positive 30. And if you add them, that's going to give you positive 11. Here's our next step over here. I want you to just simply focus on this part only. 3t. Forget about this exponent part. Only 3t. I want you to write down 3t right up here in first parentheses. And I want you to write down once again 3t in the second parentheses as well. Now I want you to look for what were our two factors. Our factors, what we figured out a few minutes ago was positive 5. five positive 5, you just don't put down positive 5 right up here. And I want you to put down positive 6 in the second parentheses. Now, I want you to just look at in the first parentheses. There's nothing in common. Just leave it alone. In the second parentheses, as you can see, 3 and 6, they both are divisible by 3. Go ahead and divide them out by 3. So that is, once you do that one, this 3, 3 cancels out, you got t plus 2. And also just write down this 3t plus 5 as well. So these are our factors. Thus, 3t plus 5 times t plus 2 are our factors. That's our answer. And now here is your assignment. Can you solve this problem on your own? You can take your time, no rush. You can pause your video. Luckily, I have already uploaded this video as well. You can check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.